bit of a comfort to have your career laid out for your one week. I'm in there. Hello, Mr. Ollivander. I wondered if you might be able to help me with something. Yes. Professor Fig sent an owl informing me that you'd be coming. He was a bit cryptic, said you need to have a special wand crafted, that you'd bring me the materials. Yes, sir. I have them here. Oh, my. How extraordinary. Remarkable design. I will be honest, I have never crafted a wand in this fashion. Repaired broken wands, of course, but this is something else entirely. Keeping me on my toes, aren't you? I think I can work with what you've brought me. Let me see what I can do. It is done. Okay. Oh. I should warn you, I've never seen a one like this before. My suspicion, as Professor Fig implied in his letter, is that it serves a unique purpose. I doubt you shall find much use for it otherwise. I understand. Thank you, sir. Okay, so it's not really our main one, I suppose. There's a key. Oh. Don't show him that one. I'm afraid you're on your own. I've ensured that we have a moment to ourselves. The move. Oh, come, come. No need for such theatrics. One down then. In light of what Ranrock now knows, you must agree that our interests are aligned. Our interests will never be aligned. You would let goblins take what is rightfully ours? The final repository belongs to wizard kind. We would be fools not to work together. What's that you've got there? Oh, your business. Might this sudden visit to the wand maker have something to do with our mutual pursuit? I have no idea what you're talking about. Yep. That repository is my birthright! Charles Rookwood wouldn't have wanted you near it. <laughs> the arrogance. Should have known better than to try and reason with a child. I've always said children should be seen and not heard. Hmm. Shit. We're actually kidnapped. What happened? Oh shit. Okay. I guess I actually can do this. Fighting alone with the student. And no potions too, holy shit. Back 
This is hard. Ouch! Incendium! Expelliarmus! 
Rookwood's reign is finally over. I'll need to send an Alta Natty right away. For now, though, I need to get back to the map chamber and tell Fig what happened. I still can't believe there's a child actually. We actually killed him. I mean. He wanted to kidnap us, and then look what happened. Kill himself. Revelio. And we actually soloed the shit out of all of his troops, man. We are one an army against all of his pupil. I'm actually stuck here. She's devastated. She just buried your uncle alone. I did it for her. Sebastian, Anne can't bear the thought of turning you in, but... What? Turn me in? She saw what happened. I'll give you some time to think, Sebastian. Turn me in? Sebastian, 
Did you hear that? You saw what happened. I never wanted to hurt my uncle. I know. I can't believe he's gone. How did things go so wrong? I didn't mean it. I didn't mean to... Oh, Anne, I was only trying to help. I can't leave now. Anne needs me more than ever. You understand. You can talk to Ominous. Make him understand. He listens to you. I need to be with Anne. I don't know about this. Don't, don't worry, Sebastian. I shall speak with Ominous. Thank you. You're a good friend, truly. But you're also a moderator. No matter what happens from here, I'm glad we met. True. Poor Sebastian. Okay, Ominous. So what's the plan? Oh, ominous? What a mess. I can't believe it. After I last saw you, I went straight to Hogwarts. Before I had time to talk to Black, I heard from Anne. I rushed to Feldcroft and found her with Solomon's body. She was beside herself with grief. Part of her wants Sebastian to face the consequences, another part can't bear the thought of it. I don't want to lose Sebastian, but I don't think we have a choice. We don't have a choice. You're right. You were right the entire time. Yeah. I wish I hadn't been. If we do this, we may never see Sebastian again. The more I think about it, what good will it do to turn him in? He clearly regrets everything. He's not going to do anything like this again. We've both heard that before. But we also need to think about Anne. She's lost her health, now she's lost her uncle. Do you really want to take her brother away from her too? I... I understand what you're saying. Perhaps you're right. As much as I believe that Sebastian should pay for his actions, we'd only be punishing Anne as well. I hope we're doing the right thing. I'll talk to Anne. If it comes from me, she'll agree with this decision. Thank you, Ominous. You're a good friend. Whatever lies ahead, we must face it together. That I know. So this is actually sad, though. So why not? Travel broadens the mind. Some days are more difficult than others. Natty? I've got where you're at. Is everything all right? <sighs> there are times when my father's absence drifts to the back of my mind. And I feel peace for a day or two. But this is not one of those times. I miss him. I miss running with him. I miss Matty Belliland. He should still be here. And it's my fault that he isn't. It's not your fault, man. It's not your fault, Natty. There's nothing you could have done to prevent it. That is what my mother says. But he died protecting me. And I cannot help but feel guilty over that. I find myself relieving the moment more often than I would like. I believe I would feel less helpless if I could truly put an end to Harlow and the rest of Rookwood's miserable lot. Of course, you have put an end to Rookwood, and that will benefit many for years to come. With Harlow on the prowl, there can be no real peace. Each day he remains free, he does more damage, leaving people like Archie Bickle to suffer the consequences. I agree, Natty. We'll get him. I've never seen someone so committed to a cause. Thank you. I believe we will get him. Thank you for speaking with me. It was very helpful. Pleasure. All right. That's it. All right. Okay, let's wait for. Okay. You made it. As soon as possible, I received an interesting owl from Joanna Bricker about oh, Harlow. Nice. 
Ash. At least we're out of the classroom. Yep. What do you need? I take it this means you had some luck at the library? It took a few hours and some eye-watering maps, but I think this might be the cave Doran told us about. Impressive. Especially with how little information he gave us. Well, I'm still not sure this is the cave, but it did seem the most promising. I stumbled across some folklore about a cave in the area that people avoid. It seemed the perfect place to hide something of value. It's a bit of a leap, I confess, but might a mysterious item such as a special moonstone be hidden in an equally mysterious cave? I think I'm desperate for anything at this point. Well, we're here. We might as well have a look. Agreed. So where's the cave? I wonder if oh. you'd go blind from staring directly at a moonstone. Cool. Moonstone Garden, let's go. I need to brew more potions too. Like before we enter that 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 final boss reminds me remind me to brew like actually use all my hard lung juice potions I mean craft potions to max 99 more potions and do the boss battle it's another oh one. what the hell bro you scared me man you can die Get a show in. Okay. The butterfly though. Revelio. Yeah, huh? Sorry. Bombada. Take the sound points. Tiny leaves. Revelio. Incendio. Incendio can share this. Then we uh we need Lumos here. Lumos. Lumos. Oh, so use Lumos. Pre trying to pretend that you're doing something new. Right. Akio. Oh wait, wrong one. Composer. Let's go. Pink birds. And those gates. Foy Revelio. I beg your pardon? This must be how the rumor about the cave started. The Fwooper song is said to drive anyone who hears it mad. Okay. Spiders. I'm glad they're not the spiders. If the moonstone so is here and so are whoopers, I wonder if it's being protected. Sure, it's protected. Why am I not surprised? First, the whoopers and now this. Uh -huh. Lumos. Lumos. Okay. Let's see. We need this one. Uh, Akio. Akio. Then we need the. We need to find moths for those spinners. Wait. This one, yeah. Aha, the last month. Lumos. Nice. Okay, what else we are... We open everything, right? Yeah, we did. Except for this one. The thing and this one. Uh, 
Another obstacle. Rebellion. No matter. I'm sure we can work out a way across. Lumos. Lumos. Mm. Accio. Birds, I guess we are using this one. Lumos. Rebellion. Can we push this? Depulsor. Lumos. Rebellion. Okay, let's go away. Look, Dark. where the water's bubbling. How odd. Should we take a closer look? You read my mind. Dive. Oh. Even more beautiful close up. It's got to be here. I just know it. Bombarda! Given what whoopers are known to do, I never thought I'd be so happy to see this many of them. I don't know. I've been listening to them for a while now, and I'm starting to lose my mind. <laughs> Very funny. I was just thinking how it's proof that poachers haven't been here, assuming this is where the moonstone is. Which means we're one step ahead of them. Rebellion. We got the moonstone. Well done, Poppy. This did end up being the right cave after all. A good thing, too. We need every advantage over the poachers if we're to get to the Snidgets first. We should do as Doran suggested and bring the moonstone to the Henge. Yep. Maybe. Shall we? We shall. If we leave now, we should make it there by nightfall. Damn, I'm tired. I'm super exhausted. Don't make sure we're gonna finish this. And then That's the henge, precisely where Doran said it would be. But now that we're here, I'm not entirely sure how to feel. We knew we were at the cave for the Moonstone, but Doran didn't tell us what to expect when we placed the stone in the Henge. Mm. Whatever it is, it had better have to do with Snidgets. The clock is ticking in that regard, isn't it? Let's make our way down. We're nearly at the end of this. I think that's it over there. Oh, oh my bad. Fudge. 
How do you go there? How's your gran doing, by the way? Nothing keeps gran down. She set up a caterwauling charm and threatened to make a coat out of the next poacher that set foot on her doorstep. I still feel terrible that I'm the reason they went there. Surely she'll be pleased you've gone after the Snidgets. I hope so. Gran understands how important it is to protect those who need it. I think we can safely say we know where the Moonstone goes. Yeah, I mean, I mean, it's so obvious, right? I wonder what fits in the hole. The shit are you man? to see even one they only ever happen under a full moon though I suppose the moonstone allowed it to happen now is the pattern they left behind on the ground normal all part of the dance no one pattern is ever the same though we'll need to draw this one to get a better sense of it can't wait to tell Garan I've managed to see not one but two moon calf dances she'll be jealous you've seen this before it was pure luck the first time. I was on high wing or I'd never have spotted it. It was the night I... Well, the night I met high wing, actually, I... I'd love to hear about how you and high wing met. I'd actually like you to know. About five years ago, high wing had been captured by poachers. At first, they planned to sell her, but soon decided they wanted to kill her instead more money I suppose I'd finally had enough I freed Highwing and we ran we'd flown for ages when I spotted moon calves dancing below and we landed to watch them it felt like an omen a good one a sign that the worst was over what do you mean you'd had enough and the worst was over you see the night I freed Highwing was also the night I ran away from home a poacher camp I come from a family of poachers Oh, damn. Why didn't you tell me this before? After all our time together? I'm sorry. I thought about it so many times, but I'm ashamed of who I... who my family is. I never fitted in. But the older I got, the more apparent it became. Gran tried for years to convince my parents to let me live with her. Suffice it to say, when I left with Highwing, I flew straight for her house. How brave. I'm glad you escaped. So am I. There were so many creatures I was unable to help when I was younger. Now that's all I want to do. Poppy, you're only one person. You can't save them all. I can try. And I've had a bit of help so far. I've never told anyone any of this, but I'm glad that you know. It's nice to have someone to talk about it with. Do your parents know about the things you do now? Saving that dragon from the fighting ring, for instance. We don't speak, or rather, they don't speak to me. Last I heard, they were in Borneo, trying to make their fortunes there. Acromantulas. However, I wouldn't be surprised if word has got back to them. Some days a part of me hopes that it has. Now that I'm older, I wish I could talk to them, get them to see sense. But sadly, I suspect that wouldn't do any good. What was it like growing up in a family of poachers? The thing I remember most was how much we moved around, always chasing the next big kill. It was chaotic and dangerous, and nowhere a child should ever grow up. We were around so many poachers in the tent. Were you not worried about being recognized? Poachers are nomadic, and most of the ones in the area aren't any I'd grown up with. 
That said, I suspect someone must have recognized me. That's how they got to Gran. I'm glad you told me. We should get back to Doran. He'll need to see the symbol, and we've got poachers to beat. Wait. If you collect the moonstone, I can make a quick drawing of the symbol for Doran. Are you finished with the drawing? Just barely. I think the pattern's a bird. At least that's what it looks like. Didn't the journal say the key to finding the Snidget lies in the moonlight? Of course. That's it. We need to show this to Doran. Not that I'd know where to find him at this hour. Perhaps we should head back to the castle and we can track him down after a good night's sleep. Oh, I don't remember that. I agree, man. I mean, I'm not much tired, too. Agreed. I'm ready to leave if you are. Let's get a castle, get a good night's sleep, you know? That's gonna be good. I want me some of that. Bye, Bobby. Alright, boys.